We've now done video based and editing in Wikispace. What I want to do now is look at how you can put um, a survey into your Wikispace to enable you to get feedback, maybe from students, maybe from other staff. And obviously in this case, it's from other staff in terms of their feedback on the training we've provided and how we can improve it. I'm going to create the form, the, uh, the form in Google Drive. So if you've got a Google account, you'll see at the top, you can go to Drive and if you go to create you can create a form survey for this particular one i'm going to call it tech for glf feedback form and you can pick a theme quite like the note paper one so i'm going to use that one for this one you can enter a description to help people understand what they need to do and why you're asking for their feedback often if it involves an email address or anything they'll be dubious and want to know exactly why. For the first question, in this case, I'm just going to cut straight to the chase and ask you not how successful, but how useful was the session? And you can get people to use a scale and we'll go from one to five and one would be no use at all in which case i apologize and if it's five very useful and to be honest if it was a five then um i'd hope you walk away inspired to do something different or develop something you're doing already. Now you can make each of the questions a required question if you want to, in which case you can't finish or submit this, the form until that one's been entered. And for this one I am going to. There's our first question. Uh, and I'm going to add a second question. And for this one, uh, just a quick choose from a list question um, and just find out Which sector are you work in? So, really, it's just to find out if you're primary or secondary. Um, I'd be surprised to find out what other sectors there were, but just in case, um, put other on there and make that one a required question as well. So, so far, I've just found out whether you found it useful and where you came from. And um, the next question, I'm going to use a grid. And the reason I'm going to use a grid is it's going to sort of hopefully get a fair bit of feedback from this particular one. Uh, so it's which of the technologies. A grid means you can have some aspects down the side. So we've been looking at blogging, wiki spaces, if I could spell wiki spaces. Uh, and videos and the aspects I'm interested in are the following which of the technologies shared in our session on the wiki space do you need further training in so I don't intend to use them so I don't need any further training further clarification on how they could be used creating and so on so that's that question done I'm not going to make that required one um, just to give people the option to abstain from that particular one and then you can see what it looks like and then we've got one further question and it's just an open paragraph text is so just a general any further comments and without further ado you can send the form what i'm going to do on this occasion is i'm going to take this form and i want to uh, put it into a wiki space in order to put it into wiki space i need an embed code and actually all you need to do if you go to send form in the top right and you'll see here it says embed so i can you can customize how big you want it to be but if you copy that code Go to the wiki space, edit the page, 
I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to put my feedback section here and go to widget. Now it does say here polls, but it doesn't include a Google form. So if you go to other HTML and you can paste that code in there. And one little sneaky thing to make sure it fits the page is where it says width. You can change 760 pixels to 100% and that will make sure it fits in the page. Now one other thing I'm just going to show you is how to add a contents um, bar to your wiki space. So I'm going to drag over feedback and I change it to heading one. So that's formatted to heading one. Now I've done that with creating a wiki space and editing a wiki space. So what I can do is here, I'm just going to add a horizontal line, make space for a widget, and then if you go to widget, table of contents, and I quite like using the, the flat table of contents, and that will go in there, I quite like putting another line below it as well. I'm just going to undo that one. So we can go to the table of contents, and then scroll down to where I want the next one to be. And put one last one down at the bottom here. And the reason I do that is that by calling each of those titles heading one, you've now got uh, a quick way of jumping up and down the page. And there's our feedback form.